So literally, I need some more space in this garage. Um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to put on my new seat, which is in this box and this box right here. I don't have a lot of space in this garage because it's literally stuff everywhere. I've put seat on other Harley Davidsons before, but I've never put one on the V-Rod. But I'm going to sh show you real quick which seat I got on there. So right now, as you can see, I'm running a stock seat. Um, it's got a little bit of support right there, but this this is the problem this right here is a no-go for miss rider she don't want to put her buns on there and i can understand it don't it, it don't feel or look very comfortable so i ended up picking up what's in this box which i uh, got a lot of suggestions off the v-rod owners group on facebook and some other places this is basically a harley davidson seat but it is the sundowner We're gonna crack this open and then we're gonna do a ride later on too on how it feels and give you my thoughts after I have breakfast. So the seat comes with the passenger seat, the um, front seat, the instructions, whatever the hell this is, and a belt to whoop some ass. Cool. Yep, because Miss Ryder won't that box in the trash, I'm pretty sure. All right, so to lift this seat up, which if you got a V-Ride and you don't know this, you shouldn't be on it or you're stuck somewhere because you can't get to your gas tank. You basically turn your key backwards and there we go. It's under there. Don't you judge me. I know it's dirty under here. It is what it is. So first I'm going to take off the thong seat as she calls it, the little seat. I got to get a socket. Five dollar two kit endorsed by cheap ass mofos. The good thing about this five dollar two kit, you only gotta buy it once. I just take it back every year and my parts messed up. Usually something's broke anyway. And they replace it for free. It's lifetime. Lifetime warranty, baby. I'm not one of those people who know the sizes. I just start sticking stuff on there. Hopefully one fits. Yeah, that looks snug right there. What's that? 13 millimeter. I would think it would be standard, but 13 millimeter felt good. Got it. What the? F How does this shit come off? Ah, gotta give it a little yank here. Yeah. I ain't mess it up, y'all. If anybody's looking for a stock, thong seat reach out to me instagram facebook on here um, i'll sell it for a good price well i ain't gonna say that yet because what if i don't like this seat i'm about to put on here should i dust that it's kind of dirty la, 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 la. it's clean enough to me like real talk what the what the fuck you do with the belt looks like i gotta read directions the belt belt go go there okay so i found out the belt goes to these so i'm gonna take them shits off get these out okay almost got it on here um give me a sec i feel like i'm supposed to do something with this pillion bolt first so i gotta get this bolt out right here first so i'm not sure if y'all can see that but there's a bolt going across right here that i gotta get out first i think it's a screwdriver got the seat off so basically let me show y'all so what holds this seat on is this piece clipping to those bolts that are going through it that's literally what held it on now i know what that piece was for it even came with a new little clip so i'm gonna clean this up some and then put the rear seat on first multi-purpose cleaner hmm. It's clean to me. All right, let's get the back on. What in the f actual? I'm gonna trim some of that out. All right, so after excessive beating and pounding, I got it on there, but now the strap looks too big. I don't know if I got the strap on right. Huh. I don't have it on right. And I do not. 
believe I have sockets to put it there. Son of a... So I'm going to need two more of these screws. I'm going to go have breakfast. All right. So I know a lot of people, typically the audio on this probably sucks. Most people usually probably get the original parts for screws, like this one right here. Um, but not me. I go to the hardware store, find a screw that matches. It's a lot cheaper. So that's what I'm about to do right now. So as you can see, they have a bunch of screws, a bunch of screw options. Let's see which one of these this is. Definitely a six millimeter. All right, so I got the screws. Now I gotta make it to the store to get some grocery items and to get breakfast. All right, so I got my breakfast over there and I had to stop at the store and get some other stuff, head it back home to eat this breakfast and uh, finish getting this seat on. Mm, 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 mm. All right, so now I got these two bolts on. It's time for the hardest part. Putting this seat on is hard, I'm not gonna lie. You gotta get it up under the strap right here and then you gotta squish the back of the big butt seat and you push it up, slide it. it. Ain't that hard, I guess. You gotta get it over top of your um your ECU. And now it's there. This is the hard part. You gotta, you gotta, you see how I'm standing? You gotta get your feet spread apart like that in a good stance. And then you push down and so once you get it down and back like that. You wanna hurry up and grab the boat. Get it in there. Okay, I think I, I think I got it. All right, we got that locked down. So I'm not sure if y'all can see that, but if you can see this little space, right? You see that? This little space where my thumb is. That goes, that goes over, that goes over this bolt. And once it's on, you slide it over. There we go, and I got it on. And then you just stick this little dangly doodly in the hole first let me put that plastic clip on plastic clip all right i got the clip on now i gotta get this in all right the seat is now on there we go brand new seat now let's see what came with the seat pad seat pad's kind of big hope it fits so as you can see right here there's two holes right there and there's two holes right here. All you do is screw this in, simple. The holes should be lined up. I swear I feel like this seat costs too much for the holes in the backrest to not line up and they don't. All right, it is complete. New seat, whoo, I'm tired, let's ride. So I made it out here. I'm, uh, I'm kind of feeling the seat. The seat feels pretty good, pretty good. It's definitely a different seating position with this sundowner. I'm kind of like more, I don't know. It feel like I'm sitting kind of more on the bike versus the previous seat I was more in the bike. But it feels like it gives you a little bit more control. I got way, way more lower lumbar support. I'm talking like ridiculous. Like I could barely move around in this seat to be honest with y'all. I gotta get out of this traffic. So when I lay on the throttle, they built this sundowner specifically for the V-Rod. You could definitely tell that. It says V-Rod on it for one. But when you lay on the throttle, you're locked in place. You are locked in. You ain't going nowhere. It's like, it's almost, I don't know how to explain it. It's like you're sitting in a perfectly formed cup or something to your butt. I don't know, but I'm locked in. I ain't going nowhere. And the best part is the rear part of the seat has plenty of real estate for Miss Ryder's ass. So there's no, no reason whatsoever she should be complaining about riding no more. She, she should be able to put that ass on that seat and we go for a ride. Basically this bike I bought so that me and her could do some rides together, some longer rides. That was the initial plan with this bike, but I never set it up right. But now I put the progressive suspension back there. I got the sundowner seat to help with her her booty um i also 
bought the backrest pad so we got that back there oh yeah one thing i'll say with this seat with me being locked in since i don't have a lot of room to move like i can't i can't slide side to side i can't slide backwards or forward like i'm locked in this seating position it makes me lean the bike over a little bit more because previously i'm not going through this shit. like i'm for real like that's some muddy ass water son i'm gonna go slower than shit on this like it's dirty it's nasty the f actually i'm gonna go over here so it like makes you lean the bike over more when you're turning because usually I would just lean my body a lot. Now I notice I'm leaning the bike, which kind of makes it feel like it's more in control. You got a much better rider triangle. My knees to my legs are a perfect 90 degrees with the forward controls and I'm six feet tall. My arms are at a great position. And as far as my back, I am sitting straight up and down and it's comfortable. I feel like I can tour on this for for extended periods of time if I'll actually do that is a totally different situation. Woo! <laughs> Man, the V rod is still so fun to ride. Telling y'all, y'all ain't rode a V Rod before. Y'all don't know what y'all missing. I know Harley discontinued it. I know it's a lot of V Rod haters, but this might be one of the funnest motorcycles Harley ever developed because it's so fast, it's so powerful, and it puts a smile on your face when you're ripping on it. Now, I ain't gonna lie, that live wire put a smile on my face when I'm ripping on it too. Is that weird that I like the most non traditional Harleys besides my Sportster? I always pick the ones that don't nobody really mess with. No, it's just me. Oh, that talk, baby. Talk. Talk. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. Yeah, you feel locked in on the seat. It's really, really comfortable. And I, I like it. Now I can't say I love the looks of the seat. It look all right. It's not the best looking seat. I'd say it's the best looking sundowner or the best looking seat for what it is for, for some, some long distance riding. Cause usually those seats are like, they look like big ass pillows and they got the fluffy fat sandwich size back on them. Like they literally just look stupid. At least they tried to style this thing a little bit. They got it, the little V-Rod, it's a V-Rod on it, you know what I'm saying? And uh, put a little texture on the side. It's definitely more stylish than some of the other touring seats I've seen. Most of them touring seats ugly as hell. I feel like, uh, I feel like I'm, I'm about to go hit some back roads. And I ain't in the mood for this traffic. Hey, I'm coming over for you. I know you ain't like what I just did, but you gotta do what I gotta do, you know what I'm saying? Man, this summer about to be fun. It's gonna be lit, 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 lit. Ain't that what them youngsters say nowadays? All right, we gonna turn and go on hit this here side back road. When the hell did they put that there? I showed you how long I've been down this way. I ain't been down here in a minute. That is one big old hospital. That's a, that's a fancy hospital. It looks almost like a like a nice little hotel. It's a little mot hotel. The motels just out. That's where the prostitutes, where you like pay by the hour, you know, thirty minutes, twenty bucks plus the fee for your prostitute. I don't know this, but that's what I've heard. But that looks like more like a like a fancy hotel instead of a motel for prostitutes thank you oh oh wrong lane 
Pull out here, you stupid son of a... You see me ripping. You keep your ass right where you at. But yeah, the seat... The seat definitely... It feels better than my stock seat. But I got to get the test of Miss Ryder back there. That's, that's who it's for. It's for her. So I got to make sure she like it too. So I, I'll try that out another day. She might want to go for a ride today, later. But ain't no telling. She probably going to say... Uh, the sun ain't in the right spot in the air or something like that. She, she come up with crazy excuses. Well, I can't go ride today. The dog got a split end. Like what? The dog's hair, the dog has a split end. Yeah, she got split ends. I can't go ride today. I can't ride today. Why? It's like 15 leaves fell off the tree. What that got to do with anything? Well, I can't, I can't like ride today. I just... I can't ride. Why? Because you already rode today. That ain't what it look like riding after you already rode. You know, it's going to be some, some shit like that. <laughs> All right. But overall, I love the seat. And I'm about to go have some fun. I'm going to rip up and down some of these back roads. Try not to get in trouble. Ooh, it's going to be hard, though. It's going to be hard. Oof, that sound. God. Come on, bug. Go on, beetle. Punch bug, no punch back. I love it. My goodness. It is beautiful out here, man. It's beautiful. <laughs>